Good morning. Hi, my name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts, and I go live every Sunday for Coffee and a Card. I have my coffee. I'm about to show you the cards we're gonna make today. <clears throat> so here's my May stamp and rewards code. You guys, I have a really exciting rewards code this month. I hope you guys will be excited about it. And why is my camera so crooked today? Okay. Is that better? I hope so. All right. So let me tell you about the stamp and rewards code this month, okay? So um, it's May, and next month we get a new catalog. And I happened to buy a spiral binding machine, a binding book machine, and I love to put tabs on my catalogs. So I can't show you the inside of this catalog, but I put tabs on all of these, and I use the new in colors for the tabs, okay? So what I'm offering you guys is and this, I paid FedEx to do it and they only have black. So that's why I also bought a spiral binding machine is because I wanna do it in the colors I wanna do. So I wanna do it in white. So I have white, I, this is a practice one I practice on an old catalog. I have these white spirals that I'll put on the catalogs and I'll put tabs on. So if you place a $75 order this month with me on my online store, I will give you a white, spiral bound catalog with tabs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the tabs for you, but I'm not gonna glue them into your catalog because I want you to be able to put them where you wanna put them, okay? But I'll provide all the tabs and the spiral binding of your catalog and I will ship it to you. Now, if $75 is too much for you to spend or you think there's gotta be a better way, well, there is a better way. So one of the perks for being on my team being buying the um, starter kit and becoming a pretty little stamper. Um, one of the many perks is a, a free spiral bound catalog every year. Um, and I do that for all my team. And then at my card club in May, I always we always put the tabs on together. So card club will put the tabs on and if you're on my team, you get the spiral bound catalog. So that's just something that I really enjoy doing. And if that's something you'd be interested in, then buy that starter kit get that discount and get a free spiral bound catalog for me because I'd love to have you on my team. So that is this month's special. Now, you guys know I always have um, a code. So if you love today's projects and you want them cut and prepped and given to you in the mail, make sure you use this code. You can place a $30 order and get my make and takes for free. I'll ship them to you. But if you bump it to $75, you're gonna get the catalog as well. You'll get the catalog spiral bound plus the free projects, okay? Now, I wanna show you because the internet has been blowing up about this new Everything is Rosy. Have you guys heard about the Everything is Rosy bundle? Because I have something really special to show you guys, okay? So this is the Everything Rosy bundle. This is a limited time offer in May and um, it's only available in May. It's only available as a kit. So it's um, $80 for this whole thing. You get two spools of this beautiful ribbon. You guys can see this ribbon. You get a, a package of this rose gold um, shimmer paint, which is amazing. You get a stamp set and framelits. So this beautiful stamp set, this is my favorite sentiment. It says, don't let worry spoil your happy. Dear friend, and all it's just adorable. And then it has these really cool framelits. And I made something to show you kind of what the framelits cut out. So the dark blue is um, framelits that you don't need to stamp, you just cut out. So they have these beautiful intricate leaves. And then these ones are stamps that you can cut out with the framelits. So really, really cool. Okay, so you get all that, the ribbon, the rose gold paint, you also get these cute pop-out labels that are rose gold and flowers. There's two sheets of that and more labels. Get those. You also get these glass um, embellishments. They're like mirrored embellishments. But this is the selling point for me. This is what made me want this set 
which was this absolutely adorable paper. And I have it upside down. I was playing with it yesterday at the retreat. So first of all, you get 48 sheets in total. So you get a ton of sheets of six by six. But this is rose gold foil paper. So it's super thick, absolutely amazing, beautiful. I can't wait to punch it and cut it. And then look at all this beautiful paper with all those rose gold metallic features in them. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so if you're thinking, you know, $80 is a lot to spend, right? Well, this kit is absolutely beautiful. It's only available in May, and it's definitely for the Avid Crafter because it doesn't come with the kit or anything to make with it. You get to just do your own designs and come up with your own things, right? Well, I have designed a class for you. So I, if for anyone that purchases this kit in May, I am going to be giving you a tutorial for a project that I am designing, okay? So I'm gonna show it to you now. It's not quite finished because I was working on it yesterday, but it's a cute little tote, see here? And it opens up and inside is two pockets for cards and envelopes. Okay, cards and envelopes. And it holds 10 cards and envelopes. So these are not the cards. I just wanted to show you the example. These are not the cards that you'll be getting, but it has 10 cards and 10 envelopes. The, the project tutorial that I will be giving you will have how to make this, and it will have 10 cards designed for the inside using all of this pro product, okay? So this is not completely finished, but I wanted to show you before this before this kit sells out, because it's only available in May and only while supplies last, but you'll also get my project tutorial for free when you get my kit, okay? So make sure you order it, because like I said, so now here's kind of where it all becomes really, really awesome. Where's that paper at? What did I do with the paper? Um, oh. Here's where the really cool part happens. So remember, this kit is $80, it's absolutely stunning. Well, remember, you only have to place $75 to get my catalog. You could buy the Everything is Rosy um, set for 80 bucks and get my catalog for free. Or, like Janie said, get it as part of your starter kit and get another $35 in product and only pay $99. So the starter kit's only $99 for $125 in product. You can get this and a bunch of new stuff out of the new catalog for the pre-order. So contact me if you're interested, but just know this is my special for May as while well, this kit is in stock, okay? If you have questions, let me know. All right, let me put this away real quick. It's absolutely beautiful. I've had so much fun playing with it. I just had it for a day, you guys. I just had it at the retreat. All right, so the other thing I wanna to talk to you about real quick before I do the projects, okay, is we gotta talk about ink colors. So as you guys know, we have our brand new ink colors. We have our five pretty colors. And I do in June, June for five months. So June, July, August, September, October. June through October, I do an in color club because I want you to have a fun and affordable way to collect all of the product in the new colors. So we've got ribbon, we've got ink, we've got refills, we've got paper. And what we don't have to show you is markers because they haven't given us the markers yet. So here's how In Color Club works. Every month, you will get everything in the one color. You'll get the ink refill, the ink pad, the ribbon, a pack, an entire pack of the paper, which is 24 sheets, and a stamp and write marker. Okay, so, so every month you'll get one of the five colors so that by October you have all five colors. It's $39 a month if you're local, or $39 plus $750 for shipping if you're long distance. And every month I design a card and a 3D project using your color. And at the end of the five months, if you do all five months of in color with me, as a thank you gift, I will be giving you a pack of the new in color faceted um, dots, which is absolutely beautiful, I love these, and a stack of the designer series paper. And this paper is so cool, you guys. It has so many different patterns. 
It has these um, fun shapes on one side and these other, like look, here's the Gingham Gala kind of paper and the written words and it's in every color. So at the end of the five months, you would basically have everything in the new in colors. And it's a fun way, so if you're local, we get to meet together and make the projects together and ooh and ah over the colors and we have so much fun. And if you're not local, then I just send you all this fun, happy mail each month and you get all these new colors. It's a great way to collect all of the colors. <clears throat> now, um, like I said, the projects come to you in the mail and my favorite thing about In Color Club is the monochromatic projects. I love doing that. I love having like a card be all in one color or a project be all in one color in different patterns and things. It's so much fun and really appealing to my eyes. So if you wanna be part of that, I would love it. I will be sending out a link to register for that shortly. Um, just need to let me know and I'll send out invoices at the beginning of June. Okay, so you don't even have to pay until June. All right, so let's go ahead and do our projects now. I've done enough talking as it is, right? Here were the projects from this week's, or this last month's card club. So I have a card club that meets on the last Monday of every month, and we do three projects. And it's a, um, each month somebody gets to be the hostess and get all the hostess rewards. Um, and we do three projects. We usually do two cards and a 3D project. So these were the projects from this um, last month and everybody that I shared it with really liked it and they wanted to know how I made, especially the horse card. So I said, okay, well, I'll do it for coffee and a card. So you can see this horse card opens and I don't know what's on here. Oh, I was like, what is that? Um, this is a horse card. It looks like the horse is gated in and then when you open the barn door, boom, he's free to roam and it's absolutely beautiful. This was cased, the idea was cased from Kim's Creative Corner and I put a link in my blog so you can see her original card that she did. This is my version of it. And then we have this cake card which is absolutely fun. This is so me. I love the colors. And I love the cake, and yes, cake is the answer. It's always the answer. And I love that when you open it up, it says, who cares what the question is? I love this piece of cake stamp set and the punch. And this is carrying over next year to next year's catalog, but it is bundled right now at a 10% discount. So if you don't have this cake, the piece of cake um, bundle, you should get it before the 10% um, goes away because this is such an adorable, adorable, adorable um, set. And then lastly, we have this get well soon tissue box. Okay. And this is absolutely cute. Um, I found this from chicken scratch. Um, she had a tutorial for a tish tissue box. She used different paper and a different design, but I cased her box idea. So this is a band and it opens up like this and inside is a cute tissue. And you could actually add another sheet of paper right here and do your message if you wanted to, you know, a little sweet message to someone who's sick or not feeling well. You could also fill this with other things like chocolates and goodies or lotion, or it's a pretty big, pretty big size box. And it doesn't have to be a get well. It could be a happy birthday, a miss you, whatever, whatever the occasion, happy Mother's Day. Um, but this is a super sweet box, so I'm going to show you all three of these. Now, the measurements for everything is on my blog post, so make sure you go check it out, okay? Here we go. Uh, let's do the cake card. How about that? So I have everything for the cake card. Here's the piece of cake stamps that I was telling you about. Thank goodness it's carrying over. And our cake punch. And this is how they get it at our card club. It comes in an envelope with all the pieces, like so. So we have our inside piece and our outside piece. And I think I have that backwards. Outside. And here is this, this piece is a how sweet it is designer series paper. Uh, this is retiring paper, so it will be going away with the new catalog. This is the inside piece, and here are all the pieces that we need for our cake, okay? And so let's go ahead and stamp all the pieces and we'll run the big shot, we'll run the letters through the big shot here. So for the cake, you just need some black ink. I'm using Memento, 
And we're gonna stamp the cake twice, once in Coastal Cabana and once in Melon Mambo, okay? And then um, we're gonna take our punch. Let me close this. Oh, yeah, let me close that for now so I don't make a mess. So we're going to punch out our cake. Like so. Oops. I didn't punch it all the way. There we go. And then we are going to stamp our sentiment. Cake is the answer because it always is. I love that. So cake is the answer. And we have the strip of Whisper White to do that because we're going to punch out. Isn't this beautiful grid paper? This is new grid paper um, that you can purchase. It's so pretty. It's limited, limited time or limited something. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. You can get it online on the, on the online store. Okay, so cake is the answer. So we have our two little pieces of cake. I'll show you that in a second, what we're gonna do with that. And then let's go ahead and punch out our cake stand. And I use this um, silver shimmer paper, which I absolutely love. This paper is so cute. So we have our cute little cake stand, okay? And let's see, what else do we need to stamp here? Let's stamp the inside piece, just because we already have the ink out, let's do it. So we have, this this cake says happy birthday, which is so cute, I love that. And um, we also have the sentiment that says, who cares what the answer is? Or who cares what the question is? So we have happy birthday for the inside. And then we have the, who cares what the question is? So we'll get that stamped. Make sure I have it the right way. Oh gosh, that was way kinds of crooked, but that's okay. So, so me, you guys, I am so crooked. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our letter framelits. Now the large letter framelits, which I put away for some reason, the large letter framelits are retiring. This is probably the thing that I'm most sad about um, because I love these letters. I use them all the time for posters, for cards, for pretty much everything. So I am sad to see them go. I'm gonna be using the C, the K, and the E. Now I don't need an A because the cake stand itself is going to be the A. I'll show you that in a second here. So you can see here. C, A, K, E. So let's go ahead and bring our big shot in. And we're going to cut this designer series paper. Okay. So we're just going to put it on our... Now, here's my suggestion with this. Line it up with the paper like follow the lines so that you can keep your words straight, okay? Because you know, I am really bad about keeping things straight. So I'm just gonna follow this pink line and make sure that my letters line up and they look good. Now they, the letters can be touching because there is a space between them. So like so. That looks good to me. We'll run that through. Oh gosh, I wasn't even in the camera. I'm sorry. Here, let me show you. C A K E or C K E. You guys can see. So I was saying I lined up at that pink line at the bottom. It's kind of a guide to keep things straight. <clears throat> okay. And that's the other thing. These letters are $99. So you could get it with your starter kit, $99, but you still have a hundred or you still have 25 more dollars to shop with for free. So that is an option for the starter kit. Or you buy the starter kit and then you get 20% off these letters before they retire, <laughs> which is even better. Okay. Let's get off. Let's put it all together, what do you say? Okay, so here we go. We've got our base, which is Coastal Cabana. 
okay? And we're just going to glue this piece of Whisper White down. This piece of Whisper White measures five and a quarter by four. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use snail today. Okay, glue that down. And then we'll take this, and I'm gonna use liquid glue because there's a lot of little pieces and parts. Costa Costa Cabana. Hi, Lynn. Hi, everybody who's hopped on. I've been so busy talking, I haven't looked to see everybody that's on. Hello, thank you for watching. Happy Sunday. So I'm just putting glue between all of the different sections so that when it glues down, all of it will stay down, okay? Now this piece of designer series paper measures five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And you don't have to write that down because I already typed it up on a project sheet for you. So if you go over to my blog, it's all there. Okay, so now we need dimensionals for the letters. I don't know what I'm doing with the sticky note there. And I have to cut these down because they're large and they won't fit behind the letters. So I'm cutting my dimensionals. You can do that, you know. You can cut your dimensionals. Okay. And let's get some of these pieces off. So we've got some, it's like a puzzle. You have to put all these little pieces on and fit them so they are hiding. But we want it to hold our letters down. It's sticking to me. There we go. Okay, we got more. And the mini dimensionals work better, but I don't think I have a sheet of those anymore. I think I used them all up. But this is a, this will work. Great, I just pulled off a whole sheet of dimensionals or a whole, look at, I tried to grab one and I grabbed a whole bunch. Okay, I think that's enough. No, there's, I need one on the K right here. Okay, and one on the E. Okay, so put these back because we can use those. Now we have to peel all the backing off. I know, I'm slow today. And I don't have nails, my nails all broke off. <laughs> so that doesn't help. So there's our C, so we're putting it right back in that negative space. So it looks cool, it's kind of an illusion. And my dimensional was not placed right. You can see it. You're procrastinating watching me. Busy girl. This card is totally worth the little tedious backings here. Okay, come on. I really don't have nails today. I need to get out my my little tweezers, my little um, pick a tool. Okay, so we've got an E. We're almost there. Now I know what it feels like not to have nails to use. Okay, and then our K. We have a dimensional peeking out. We gotta fix that. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Now let me show you how we're gonna do it with the cake. So this is a two-toned colored cake. See how I did that in the two colors? So we're going to cut our blue cake right along the center line here. We're just gonna cut it off, bam. And then we're going to glue it down right on top of our pink cake. See that? Now we've got a two-toned two tiered cake, okay? And then we have our cake stand. So let's go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of these guys and we'll put them where the A goes. 
It's a very cool effect, Connie, and it's super easy to do, and it's fun. Okay, let's see if I can put this dimensional here so it's not showing. There we go, nope. Okay, so put our cake stand down first, right here, level with the everything else, and then we'll put our, oh, before I do that, let me stamp the um, candles. Here's a whole stack of candles. Where's my Memento Black ink? Here it is. Let's stamp the candles. So I'm just going to stamp them right up to this pink line so that it's level with our C and our K. And it's okay if some of the candle gets hidden. So see that? And then we'll take the dimensional off, put it right here. Bam, we got cake. Woo woo, we have cake. I get excited about cake. I don't know if you guys noticed. <sighs> Fat girls gotta eat, guys. All right, so here is our little sentiment. Bam. And of course, you know, glimmer paper's not enough. We need more bling than that. So I've got rhinestones and we're just gonna scatter the rhinestones all throughout. Super easy way to put rhinestones on, guys. Have your sheet right up against the project where you want it and slide it right off. You don't have to pick it up. You don't have to try and grab it. Just slide it off. Super, super cute. Okay, now we gotta put our funny little answer in the inside. So let's put this piece inside. And bam, you've got a birthday card and a super cute one if you don't if you if if you're asking me. <laughs> so there you go guys. Super fun, easy. Um, and again, I just love these letters and I love this cake punch. So cute. So there's project number one. Project number two. All right, guys, we'll do the horse one. I know, I know. You guys have been waiting patiently for this horse project. Now, remember, you can get all of these projects cut and prepped, ready for you to go. So you just have to stamp and assemble. Um, so the, like the horse one here, we're going to do together. Same thing. You place that $30 order with me and you'll get these projects for free. Okay, so here are our pieces. I've done a lot of the work ahead of time so that we don't have to sit and watch me. Here is the dealio. This piece of cherry cobbler is cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches. And then I scored it at two and three quarters and five and a half. Two and three quarters is actually half of five and a half. So that's why when you fold it in a zigzag like that, it's flush with the side and flush with the middle, okay? Then I took the wood planks embossing folder, this guy here, okay? And I only ran half of it through the big shot. So I left this half unplanked. You could plank it if you want. You'd have to do it in two steps. But I did it in one, just one side, and I folded it so that it looks like a barn door, okay? I love this folder too, Janie. And then I have a piece of basic black, and this basic black is cut at, oh, that is five and three eighths by four and an eighth, okay? And it's just, we can glue this down, get it out of the way. This kinda just frames in the barn, okay? Like so, and that was way crooked, that's all right. Okay, and so you have this piece here, and this is gonna be where we're gonna stamp our horse, and we have this piece here that we need to run through our big shot and cut out these little elements. Now these elements are from the barn door, these sliding door framelits. Thank goodness that they're staying around. They're not retiring, so that makes me happy. So we have these pieces here, these little gears and this little handle. And these are what we have to run through the big shot. I was inspired um, by, oh, what is her name? Kim, oh yeah, Kim's Creative Corner. Uh, I wish I had, was clever enough to come up with this project, but no, she had the project and I fell in love with it and I said I have to do this, so. There's a way, um, all the talent is not in this room, it's in everyone else's rooms. I just know how to case. All right, so here's that. 
So we've got all our little pieces. See here, three little pieces. Okay, let's go ahead and do our stamping. We'll set this little post aside here and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. So the barn door, <clears throat> the barn door of our horse, see this guy here? This is stamped with the barn door stamp set. And this goes along with this sliding door, oops, <clears throat> sliding door framelits. They go together. So I'm just gonna stamp half of the door on this piece of wood texture paper. And I'm just gonna use Memento Black ink for this. And really all you have to do is just ink up one half of the door because I don't care about the top part of the door. We're gonna cut this out. So just stamp it down like so, and then we'll trim it out. Okay. So we're just going to cut right along here and right along this line and right along these side lines. Okay. This is going to create our little gate. So easy and simple. All right, now let's go ahead before we lose any of our little gear pieces here, our little hinge and our little handle, let's glue these on the door before we get too far, okay? And I'm gonna use my Tombow, and we gotta kinda poke, we gotta poke out these little holes of our hinges, okay? So, let's go ahead and glue this down very carefully. Little Tombow goes a long way and I did not need to put glue on that side. That's okay. We will make it work. So we're gonna glue one side here and we're gonna glue one side here. And we're gonna do the handle right here. It's kind of crooked. There we go. Okay, so we've got our handle, we got our little door, and let's go ahead and glue that on here. So we're gonna put glue on the back of these gears. Because this is kind of gonna be what holds this down, and I'm gonna do a really thin line right there along the door because that's all that's going to be touching this little edge not a lot is attached just a tiny tiny bit okay so there so that is going to be what's our doors attached to okay and then let's go ahead and stamp our horse where's my stamp We'll stamp our horse and color it. Now, we will be doing um, some coloring with the horse during um, during Blends Club this month. So Blends Club this month is featuring the Let It Ride stamp set. So let me pull that out so you guys can see what it looks like, the Let It Ride stamp set. And we're gonna be learning how to color with our blends. And um, I'll show you real quickly this is one of the projects we're gonna do. We're gonna do a sampler. Uh, it doesn't come with the frame, but it will come with the project, the, the horse sampler inside. And then we're also gonna do a card, which I haven't designed yet. But we're gonna learn shadowing, shading, um, how to do the sky, everything with our beautiful blends markers. So that is going to be really, really fun. I'm looking forward to that. So if you're interested in May's Blends Club, um, make sure that you place your 35 or your $36 order before May 15th. And there's a Blends Club um, rewards code that you need to use when you place that order. Um, and so if you need it, let me know. Okay, so I don't know why I closed that. So I stamped my horse here. And then in the back, I'm going to stamp some trees kind of out in the background. 
And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment. The sentiment says, live as if someone left the gate open. And I'm going to put this right here because it's gonna be hidden um, when the gate is closed. So you won't be able to see it until you open the gate. Okay, so to color this, we're gonna use Crumb Cake, Mossy Meadow, and Smoky Slate. For the trees, I'm using Mossy Meadow, and I'm just going to just run my marker through with no precise rhyme or reason, just giving them a coat of green. We're also gonna do the grass. Okay, and then in the dark is where I'm gonna start shading, adding some, some kind of depth to it. You know, maybe some of the trees need to be darker in places. Okay. And then go back over with my light and blend those edges so they're not so dark, okay? All right, so let's do our horse. I always start with light crumb cake. I mean, with the light blend, and I do a base. Now, I want there to be some white sections of the horse, kind of like it's shiny. So I'm gonna deliberately leave a little bit of white there and on the chest. So that it looks like it's shiny. I'm just going to color that in here quickly. Oops, I'm way going out of line because I'm using the brush tip. This is going to be an abstract coloring. Okay, so then with the dark crumb cake, I'm gonna bring in the definition, the shading. This is where I follow the lines of the horse. I imagine where the shadows are gonna be. You know, the shadows are gonna be under the chin and then the neck, probably in the belly side of the horse, behind, you know, behind and underneath, where the sun don't shine, okay? And that's all you need, Just this is just shading. This is just creating those defined lines, okay? And then you take your light again and you blend those edges. You don't want it to be so obvious, right? You want it to blend into the rest of the colors of the horse. And this is a really quick version. This is not how Blends Club tutorial will be, but this is a quick version for um, online for Facebook Live, okay? Blends Club Long Distance, um, they get the projects, everything to make them, and they get a video tutorial of how to make the projects. So I took the dark smoky slate and just colored his hooves. Okay, and that's it. Now you have a beautiful shaded horse ready to run out of that barn. Now we can glue him down. I wish, Leah, I wish it could be international, but you can't place an order through me. Um, but I could do something like maybe um, you could just purchase the tutorial from me, the video tutorial, and then you I couldn't send you the product and you couldn't place an order through me, but you could order the tutorial. I could definitely do something like that. Okay, so here is the, I'm gonna do the post. I think it's, yeah, it's this one because I wanted the grain to go vertically. And I'm just going to, so my post is gonna go here. I want it to be a little bit taller than the um, door itself. So I'm just going to cut at a really shallow angle a V. So you can see I just kind of cut that off so that it can go right here as the fence, okay, as the post. Now, I created the rope that wraps around the post by taking a piece of the burlap ribbon, and the burlap ribbon is connected. So I took three th strands and I just cut below the three strands to separate it from the rest of the ribbon. So see here, now I have a shorter version of the rope. I'm gonna do two sets of those, one for the top and one for the bottom. I'll do tearing tape. They were gluing across the front and then just cutting off the edges. 
And I had, when I originally did it, I wrapped it around the back. Um, but maybe, maybe this will work. Maybe with tear and tape. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Oh, really, Leah? Yeah, no, I'd be happy to do that. Um, message me and I'll set something up so that Blends Club, at least the tutorial version, um, I will um, set up in my Square Store and then you can just purchase it as a um, tutorial. I'd be happy to do that because yes, I think everyone should experience blends and have a positive experience with them because they're so much fun to work with. And again, it's just a confidence thing. It's just having the confidence to use them. Okay, so I used tear and tape, which is like sticking to everything. And now I'm just gonna trim off the edges. See, tear and tape's so strong. It's such a strong adhesive. Love it. There, nice. Okay, let's get rid of all this burlap nonsense. And we'll glue this down. I'm gonna use liquid glue just to make sure it stays down pretty good. Absolutely blends can be used on all kinds of mediums. You're right, Gina. Okay, so there's our post and there is our barn door and voila, live as if someone left the gate open. Our horse is free, he's running free. It's so cool, such an amazing card. The gals at Card Club absolutely love this card and they were giving them away to such wonderful people and ideas of who they were gonna give them to, so it's really, really special. Um, so yes, I love this card. And again, if you want it for Facebook Live Make and Takes, I will prep this card and send it to you. So all you have to do is a stamp and assemble it. All right, so this is our Get Well project here. Let me put these things away so I have some space. Okay, I love that like everything's in their little packets. This is how they get them at Card Club. It's so much fun. I love Card Club. That's like my favorite um, class. Well, that and blends. I love blends too. Okay, so here are our pieces that we're gonna need. And this is the piece of cardstock. Again, the measurements are over on my blog, but I'll tell them to you right now so you have them, okay? This is six and a half by 10 and a half. So six and a half by 10 and a half. The short side is scored at one inch and five and a half. And then the long side is scored at two and a half, three and a half, six, seven, and nine and a half, okay? And then, because I can never remember, I created myself a handy dandy little template here of how I'm supposed to cut this out. Okay, and I'm gonna use my big scissors because big scissors work better. So I'm basically going to create tabs down here. So I'm gonna do tab, 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 and then I'm gonna cut off the rest of these. But I think what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna burnish because burnishing makes it so much easier. Converting me to a tea drinker. Still coffee, I'm sorry my second cup this morning. I probably should switch to tea. Love me some coffee. Look at this bone folder, you guys. It has my name on it. Isn't that cool? Eileen, who is on our team, Pretty Little Stampers, she gave these to us as our gifts for on stage, and I absolutely love them. So sweet. Okay, now that I've burnished, then we can trim. So this is the top flap and this is the bottom. So let's go ahead and cut up our side so we know where we can start cutting. So we got our flap here and our flap here. And let's go ahead and miter the edges on this little middle piece here. Okay, and then we got this flap. Okay, and so let's go ahead and cut this entire section off here. And this is why I like big scissors, makes this so much easier. And we'll do the exact same thing on this side. And can I just say thank you guys so much for watching and joining me every Sunday. Like, what a blessing. I absolutely love this. And thank you guys for 
watching my unmanicured hands <laughs> make projects every week. We were talking about how someone had mentioned that they thought that people's hands and nails should be cleaned and manicured for videos because we're, our hands are on display, which I get to a point, but <clears throat> when I deal with paper all the time, my hands are dry, my nails crack, you know, I'm outside pulling weeds and stuff, and I mean, I don't have dirt under my nails, but my nails are definitely not well manicured. So thank you guys for putting up with my disgusting nails <laughs> and still watching me. Uh, um, I forgot that I needed the round um, trio punch, which I absolutely love. This is my corner rounder. And so you're gonna stick your corner of your top flap in here and punch and punch, okay? So now you have the makings of a pretty fabulous box here. You love my giggle, Janie? <laughs> well, thank you. All right, so we have these, um, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> All right, so we have these little pieces here. This is the designer series paper. And now the big piece measures four and a quarter by two and a quarter. And we're going to put this on the top flap here. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that on so I don't forget where it goes. And it's easier to glue these pieces on when your box is flat, right? As long as you put them in the right spots. Okay, so there's this one. Okay, and then we have two pieces. These are the two strips that are um, four and a quarter by three, three quarters. And you're gonna put one here, right? Does it go there? Yep, one here and one here. Now on this one that goes here, we have to round the corners so that it matches the lid. So we're just gonna round the corners there real quick. See? And we'll just glue that on. I'm back and your hands are great. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. My hands are... My hands love paper, okay? They're well-loved and they love paper. I have big man hands, but I, you know, I like, I, I'm okay with man hands. They open pickle jars really well and they're really strong. <laughs> and they're okay if I crack a nail or crack a, yeah, my nails crack. All right, so I'm actually doing the print of this one upside down. And the reason for that is because I want the print like a box, right? If it's sitting like a box, I want the print to be upward. Like when this is closed, I want the print to be up and up. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but there it is. Okay, and then we have these two side pieces. These pieces measure two and a quarter by three quarters, and they are going to go right here. And now I have to make sure that they do. Let's see. Fold it up, da, 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 da. and I want, yeah, because I want this front piece to be the piece that folds over to the back. And we want it to be like this. Okay. Uh-oh, does Jenny have a headache? I'm sorry, Jenny. Sorry you have a migraine, those are no fun. We were just talking about migraines the other day on Facebook and about what people do for remedies. Migraines are no joke. Okay, so then we have these two pieces here. Now when I'm gonna put my box together, I'm gonna use tear and tape. And the reason I'm gonna use tear and tape is because it's so strong, it's gonna hold my box for forever. So I'm gonna put tear and tape on these two end pieces on the inside. These are the pieces that have the designer series paper on the back. Okay. What paper is the DSP from? The DSP that I used is from the Needlepoint Nook Designer Series paper. So I didn't mention that, but this set, the Needlepoint Nook, is retiring. The, the stamps, the framelits, and the paper, it's all retiring. Um, so at least I'm glad I got to use it before it's gone, but I absolutely love it. The paper is gorgeous, and I should have brought it out to show you guys, I'm sorry. But the item number and all that is provided on my project sheet on my blog. So if you ever wonder what I'm using for the projects, they're all on my blog. 
Okay, so we're gonna tuck in these two middle here and we're gonna bring this up and we want it to just be flush. Okay, so to make it flush, we're gonna fold. I saw a sad face. Is that because this is retiring? Because yes, I feel the same. <laughs> I hope it's because this is retiring and not because you're sad at me. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do that on this side as well. Voila. And then guess what, guys? We need to put a pack of tissue in. I have this pack of tissue. These are from the Dollar Tree. You get a pack of eight for a dollar. How awesome is that? Put our little tissue in. And then it, this just wraps around just perfectly. Now you could do like a little magnetic clasp right here, or like we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a band. Okay, so we, this is the needle point, this is the needle and thread stamp set, and then the needle point elements frameless. These frameless are so cool. This embosses the stitched flower, and look at these labels and different stitched patterns. Like, this is a really cool set. So we're going to use that to make our little belly band. So we have this piece here. This piece is eight inches by one and a quarter, and this is our band, okay? And what we're gonna do for this band is we are going to actually have the band meet at the top where our label's gonna be because we're gonna hide that. So here is what we're gonna do. We're going to not even measure, we're going to pinch, take it out, burnish, okay? Put it back and we're going to pinch the next one, take it out. I know it's tedious, but it makes for a nice crisp band. Take it out right here. Okay, now this one we've got a pinch. Pinch. Burnish. And one more. Pinch. And burnish. Okay, so there's our band. And we're going to put a piece of tear and tape right here. Peel the backing off and we'll glue it to itself, right like so. Okay, now let's go ahead and stamp our little label. And where are those? Oh, here they are. Okay, so. We need to stamp our get well soon. I want this to be straight. Sometimes with these photopolymer sets, it's nice that they are so flexible, but sometimes it's hard to get the little words straight. All right, so the words are get well soon. I did those in Highland Heather, and we're gonna just do that down here, and I'll show you how we do the little label around it. And then we're going to stamp our leaves. So this funny looking thing is the leaves. And we're just gonna stamp this. And it's so funny when people did this, they were like, is that right? Is that what it's supposed to look like? And it's like, yep, that's exactly what the image is supposed to look like. They're just two separated or leaves. And they're meant, I'll tell you what it's actually meant to do. It's meant to hug around the flower. So this is the flower framelit, and you can see it fits perfectly behind the flower. So that's what it's actually meant for. We're gonna use it behind the label today, but that's what that's for. Okay, and then I did the flowers, this little bundle of flowers here, in berry burst. Because I felt like the flowers in the paper were berry burst and they're really cute. Oh, Connie, that's a cute idea. So Connie said you could just do a little hole at the top and you could pull out the tissue, like have it started and it could just be a tissue box or even here in the center and just pull it out. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so let's go ahead and cut these out. You guys always have fabulous ideas. Hi, Suzette. Thank you for watching. The label fits the leaf set too. All right, so let me put these away so we have space. 
and let's get the big shot out and we'll cut these pieces out. So we've got our piece here. So our leaves are here. Okay, our little bunch of flowers. I love that it's just one framelit and it cuts all three. Saves so much time that way. Okay, and then we have the stitched label here. It doesn't cut the label out, it just makes the stitched image, but I'll show you what we do after we do that. Okay, run that through. So you can see it didn't punch out the label, it just created that stitch. But these ones do cut out. So there's that, and there's our three little flowers. Okay, so to cut this out, we actually are gonna use our pretty label punch. And it fits perfectly around the stitching. And that's why I love that all of our products coordinate with each other. I love when Stampin' Up! does that. It's so clever and so smart. And so we get that cute little label and we're going to border that label with the green leaves. See, like that. So we'll put some glue behind our little green label, our green leaves. Put that behind here, like so. Then we're gonna put our little flowers on, just with some liquid glue, that's good. Like so. The stitch label after punched fits the leaf pattern from the stamp set. Huh. This one? Hmm. Okay, so then we're going to do this flower here and this flower here, just a little bit overlapping it. And then we'll take some dimensionals and put them, oops, don't put them on the sides guys, that was stupid. Because we only want it to adhere to the, to the wrap, not to the paper. So you just want it in the center. And voila, ta-da! You have a cute tissue box. So fun, right? I'm so sad this is set is going away, you guys. If you love it as much as me, you gotta get it before it retires. It's absolutely adorable. And if you want this week's projects, please go place an order using my code. Use my code this week and I will prep these for you and ship them out to you. And if it's $75, I will also send you a catalog, spiral bound with tags, whoop whoop. Or you can just join my team and I can spoil you every day and love that you're on my team. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys like today's projects. Here's my horse cards. Where's my cake cards? Cake cards, where'd you go? Here they are. Cake cards. Check it out, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you all. Have a fabulous week. I will see you next Sunday. Yes, it is Mother's Day, but I wouldn't, I would rather spend it with you guys than anyone else in the world. Um, so I'll see you next week for some cute Mother's Day ideas. Okay? Bye.